What's up guys, uh, welcome to today's video. So today I've got something a little bit different to talk about, you know, rather than the usual type of protocols that we talk about on this channel. Today I wanted to talk about Rocket Global. Now these guys are going to be a hybrid exchange, so we're actually going to have a, a centralized exchange, a decentralized exchange, and a multi-chain NFT marketplace. So these guys have got, you know, three things all in one here. And uh, yes, yeah, so let's get into it. So these guys have took the highest KYC seat by uh, the House of Obsidian, which is um, always something good uh, to look out for. Usually when projects go for this, it you know it tends to mean that they're safe. So far, we've not seen a project that has um, took the highest KYC of Obsidian and ended up being something malicious. So it's always a, a positive start. And yes, like I was saying before, the they're going to be bringing out a centralized exchange, then a decentralized exchange. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is only going to be via, the decentralized exchange is going to be only available on the Binance Smart Chain, at least um, to begin with. And what it's saying here is this DEX is going to act like, imagine, you know, something like one inch or matcha or I don't know if you guys are, are familiar with those kind of DEXs where what it does is our DEX aggregator pools liquidity for multiple DEXs so what this does basically compares multiple DEXs and and allows you to choose the uh, the cheapest one which just allows you to get the uh, best rate and then they're gonna have a multi-chain NFT marketplaces which uh, you know you'll be able to not just uh, buy and sell, but you're able to actually mint your tokens, um, your NFTs over there, sorry. So if you are somebody that's, uh, you know, a creator as well, an artist who wants to create your own collection, you can you'll be able to do that on the NFT marketplace for, you know, different blockchains. And uh, yeah, so this is the team behind it. Uh, they've got a nice docs team here. And they're not just docs to House of Obsidian, but they are. Uh, docs. Now, one important thing here is, you know, what everybody should always do when people claim to dox themselves in public. It's always important you do a bit of, bit of research on them. So these guys, well, two of them, at least put their links to their um, profiles. Now, if you actually click on this, so I won't do it now, but, you, you know, I'll put a link to the website and you can go in and check yourself. But you want to click the website, you can see that, um, you know, this guy here is, is linked to a lot of different news articles and you know you can tell his um, profile is legit Com you know uh, compared to one of these fake profiles that they've taken a, an image off Google and then there's no references and you can't you know kind of connect the person to to anywhere you can tell his profile uh, is uh, legit at least anyway and uh, yeah so head over into the white paper probably so I can show you some of the highlights about the exchange now we scroll down here to talk about here we go so the saying that the exchange is going to be front running proof it's going to be impossible for the exchange to front run users orders with exchange you will be able to deposit and withdraw fiat from there doesn't go into you know too much detail talking about commissions or fees and that kind of stuff yet this is uh, I guess in a way kind of like the first kind of basic white paper that they've um, that they've released on all this yeah moving on here it talks uh, more about the NFTs saying uh, you know the trades will be able to be done with near zero transaction costs you can uh, you know mint your own NFTs this kind of stuff they've also gonna have a, a high yield yield farming protocol so you will be able to you know stake their native token and earn some uh, yield from that as well so yeah they've got a, a lot of unique ideas um, coming up quite an extensive uh, roadmap of uh, things that they've got to do and uh, yeah so a little bit about the tokenomics as well so the private sale and the pre-sale together will make up uh, just 18% of the token supply now the private sale will have a vesting schedule but for those guys that are jumping into the public's whitelisted public sale there won't be any vesting period whatsoever so you'll be free to to buy and sell your tokens when you want and uh, yeah so like i say it's quite early on in this uh, project's roadmap really you know 
to give inf information talking about everything they know that they want to achieve and stuff like that but you know, I doesn't go into crazy detail yet but um, yeah they're growing a, a nice strong community over on the discord so far things seem to be picking up fast and uh, yeah I'm interested to see how this uh, project develops anyway so I'll put all the um, the links to the dis uh, to the project in the description of the video and uh, whitelisting is currently available for that public uh, pre-sale so you want to head over there and find yourself a way to get a whitelist it's not too difficult and uh, yeah so that's it for today's video thanks for listening until next time guys bye